Hi everyone, in this video we'll show you today a contrast reversal setup through our trigger interface box. We'll show you possible delays of the operating system behind the stimulation program and hardware we are using. And we want to prove actually that there is no delay between the incoming data and the incoming trigger into the Active 2 of Biosemi. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer. This setup is only used for demonstration purposes. For safety reasons, it must not be replicated. First, we're going to use the notebooks. One stimulation notebook and one PC for acquisition. For the stimulation, we are using a software called Presentation by a company made uh, in the USA called Neurops. With the Active 2 from Biosemi, we will then do the acquisition. As for the trigger box interface, we're using the MMB trigger box, which is made here in Switzerland by Neurospec. That is going to be the interface between the stimulation and the acquisition. We're using a modified photocell. This photocell is also made by us. And what we will do is we'll connect the photocell to the screen of the stimulation notebook and the ergo output will route into the Active 2. Additionally, we have an input that comes from the trigger, which is routed also in the ergo uh, input of the Active 2. All things acquired will leave us with three traces, which we can then review and analyze. At the end of this demonstration, we will be able to show three acquired traces on our PC. One of the trays will be the trigger that we will send straight into the USB receiver box. One response will be the ergo response that we acquire from the photo cell itself into the ergo input of the Active 2, which again is sampled at the same speed as the EEG and the EXG. And the last of the three traces will be the splitting of the trigger going into the USB receiver box and we split that also into the ergo channel 2. So we'll be left with three traces. The timeline will be around the onset of the actual trigger and we'll define that as time zero. So let's connect. We've got the stimulation PC, we've got the acquisition PC, we've got the EEG, and we've got the USB receiver box. The first thing we'll do is we'll connect these things together. The MMB trigger box is already connected through the USB cord. We have the trigger cable, which is essentially the same trigger cable as you have in your lab, except this one is modified. And again, it's not to be replicated. Okay, so we connect the USB receiver to the trigger cable. The next thing we need to do is we grab our photocell, which is modified, which you don't have. So it's a bit different. The photocell is the same. The connections are different. Okay, we use a 20 times 5 millimeter sticker, which we just stick actually on the photocell itself. We remove the sticker like so. To see where we need to put it on the screen, we just start the stimulation. So we use a field and put the photocell on the screen. The other side will connect to the ergo input. And this cable is the feeding in of the trigger, which we're splitting out of the USB receiver box, which we just plug into my modified trigger cable. And that's all. So we switch on the Active 2. The stimulation is still running. That's no problem. We say start a new recording. We switch to a lower number of channel. I choose eight EXG channels, that's okay. I go to sensors and all I'm selecting obviously is ergo one and ergo two. We change the scale to about four volts and we click the low pass. Immediately, we will see a couple of things. We'll see the photo response, which is a rectangular uh, response that comes through. We see here some sharp teeth, which is the trigger we're feeding back into Ergo. 
and at the same time we're also seeing the triggers being presented on the bottom of the screen inside our trigger window. Now we're saving the file where well, we need to hit the pause button and at this point in time we're actually saving the data. We can see it also down here. We can see that we're collecting megabytes and we're saving 10 channels plus one channel which is our trigger channel. Once we're finished we just press the stop button and we switch off the stimulation over here so we ended up with a collected file with the ergo response with the split trigger input into ergo and with our corresponding triggers which are at time base zero on our timeline let's go and analyze the file okay so what we do is we go to new file by the way this is using the pdf reader the latest which is really really nice it's got some beautiful features which i will show you what you can do so we're opening the file that we've just collected please note that everything looks completely messed up on the screen that's because we recorded some channels that are not useful now so we choose the last two channels that is 9 and 10 which are our ergo channels so we jump one forward all we need to do is change the sensitivity to 500 millivolts and now we can see the ergo response of the photocell we can see the incoming trigger that has been splitted and presented into the ergo input on the channel 2 and we can also see the little trigger marks down the bottom here now these trigger marks are 8 milliseconds so we need to really zoom in hard to see what the actual delay is that the active 2 or this particular EEG could have recorded but let's see so first we go to monopolar zoom and then we can see up here we can see sliders these sliders let us actually focus in on a section of the recording. Now we can see as we close these two levers, it's still not good enough, so we can actually apply the multiplier, which is really cute. So we uh, just pull and pull and actually pull here and pull here until we get the data nicely on the screen. Uh, we need to play a bit with this, this is not so easy. Now we have it really nicely on the screen. So we'll see the trigger on the bottom remember this particular po point in time is zero from there we will measure everything so we have two levers here we can actually first of all see how long was the actual uh, presented trigger that was eight milliseconds this is what our trigger box has actually done we can change that but this is how the default is set up so now we will move this particular lever to our actual incoming trigger via ergo but we can't really see nicely so we need to do a little bit more zooming we need to stretch 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 now we can start even to see the samples when we actually this is really nice feature so we can actually pull more and we can see the actual response now really really zoomed in so we can see every single sample and remember we're recording at 16 kilohertz so what we'll do is we put this marker to the onset of our trigger remember this again is time zero and if there was a delay then this would be somewhere back here but it's not the first sample of the onset of the actual response is just about here and when I let go of this, if, if it's, yeah, if you want to move it a little bit more, just like here. So now the first sample is already falling. It's already in, uh, decreasing to our five volt level. So when I, when I look at the actual difference between the two markers here, we're measuring 114 microseconds. That is 0 0.114 millisecond, which is absolutely neglectable. And this has proven that the input through the EEG, through the EXG channels, and through the ergo, GSR plate, whatever you have here on your Active 2, has absolutely no delay to the incoming triggers that is being presented in this particular instance by presentation. This is really nice. Now, of course, we can also see when we're, when we're expanding a little bit, we can also move the marker to our actual response of the, of the ergo, of the photocell, 
and we can see here the difference now is five and a half milliseconds and this is because I'm using a very fast laptop with good graphic card and so forth so for the graphic delay we're only out by 5.64 milliseconds which can be compensated if you use analysis software such as Beza so we can see a visual evoke potential or a P300 really really nicely in time. Thank you again for watching all products are available on our website neurospec.com such as the MMB trigger box, the photo cell, the active 2, presentation, e-prime, you name it, we have it. Uh, please any comments, any questions, leave them on our site and please do follow us on the social media for neurospec.com. Thank you very much for attending.